Hey, welcome to another episode of the Not Scrum Dumb podcast. I'm your co-host, Andriana Marshall, and that's my amazing co-host. Brand Scrum Master Scott. Greetings, everybody. So we got a question from a PSM1 student that we wanted to talk about, which was essentially, can you do more than one sprint review during the sprint? Now, me personally, I find that to be a lot. I you know, it's a big meeting. If you genuinely have stakeholders and senior leadership and people coming to your meeting, I think that's very excessive. Now, I've definitely done something where it's been having an additional review, maybe with the product owner or maybe with that specific stakeholder on a piece of functionality before it goes out. But I haven't done a full on second sprint review during the sprint. But Scott, you mentioned that your team actually did something like this recently. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. This was interesting to me. So this is the first time in my career ever that I had a scrum team to ask me, let me give you the context. So I'm at Daily Scrum. We just about finished everybody giving the updates, what we got to do. We know what we're going to do for the next 24 hours. And one of the persons asked me, Scrum Master Scott, can we do a sprint review tomorrow? I scratched my head and I'm like, I looked at my calendar first because I thought I was a week late because sprint review was not before next week. This is last week, right? I'm like, well, sprint review is not until next week. Do you want me to move the calendar date to this week? No. We want to know if we can do two sprint reviews. And then lo and behold, we have this student, John and I, ask us the same question this past weekend. I'm like, wow, this just happened to me. And here's what happened. So I had to scratch in my head a little bit, Andre, and I began to think it. I said, well, I paused. I'm going back through the scrum guide. I thought of self-management. I said, wow, Andreana, this is a self-management team. They come to me asking me if we could do an extra sprint review. I'm like, wow. Then Andre, I'm thinking about my children. I'm thinking about my girls when they was younger, when they come, daddy, can I have this, please? That's kind of how they came at me, right? He was like, uh, bro, Master Scott, can we do another sprint review? As if almost they know they can't do it, but they asking me anyway. <laughs> like a parent-child relationship, right? So I said, well, I was thinking about self-management, Andreana. I said, well, that's nice they coming to me and asking me that question and on their own. I said, is anybody pushing y'all to do this? Then I began to ask more questions like what? Okay, you don't want me to move the sprint review that we already going to have next week, so you want me to add another one? Yes. Is this just for the team? No. Why did I ask, is it just for the team? Well, like you said, Andreana, it's just for the team. Well, we just... That's not a scrum event, but we can meet and talk about whatever we need to talk about. Fine. We said, no, we're going to have stakeholders here. We're going to do it exactly like a sprint review. And we're going to do this again next week. May I ask why? Are we working on this new prototype for this new feature? And it is done. We thought it was going to take the whole two weeks. And stakeholders have been calling every day asking about this thing. They called this morning and we told them we're done. A week into a two-week sprint, you're done? Wow. And y'all never done this before? No. We didn't know. Complex, right? Exactly. So I said, well, based upon that, yes. Why don't we go ahead and have uh, the sprint review tomorrow? Stakeholders already lined up. Oh, yeah, they can meet today if we want to meet. I said, well, I would like for y'all to go through it one more time, make sure it's tested, make sure everything is good. They're like the first developers ever to ask for an additional meeting. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, of I'm course, they're your first right? team. Yeah, of course, they're your first team. Nobody's ever asking for more meetings. They're trying to have less meetings. Even though this is, we talk about it being a scrum event and it's supposed to be interactive and engaging, but let's be serious. Most people don't want to stop in the middle of their sprints at all. And they want to continue their work or do something else. So you see my dilemma. Yeah. So I was excited. And so the other thing I'm thinking about, of course, from a scrum master standpoint, the scrum guide, before I actually said, yes, I'm thinking. Andre and I was thinking about in the scrum team, it says that we have to have one scrum master, one product owner. Now, when it gets to the events, it doesn't say that we only have to have one sprint planning, one sprint retrospective, in this case, one sprint review. So I was like, hmm. And also, the last thing I thought about before I answered and said yes was, in Scrum, we have maximum time box, right? So the maximum time box for sprint review is four hours. We do two-week sprints, and our sprint reviews are only one hour. So I did ask the question of, well, how long is this review going to be? Oh, it's only going to be 30 minutes. And we're still going to do the one hour next week. Okay. We still in compliance of not going over four hours for the one month sprint. We still in compliance there. So these are all the things that I'm thinking about 
before I even gave my answer, asking them all these questions, probably about two minutes at the end of Daily Scrum last Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, no, that's actually a very interesting way to think about it, breaking up the time, because it does technically give an order. Like, this is when this happens. It happens after this. It happens before the retro. So it does give a specific timeline. So don't be mm -hmm. giving people these ideas, yeah. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I've been no, I like her. Her reviews. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but it's one of those things where, yeah, I think that's very interesting where you're like, all right, let's just play around with the time box if, and let's in a future one for this one. So, but yeah, you kind of asked all those questions. Did, did you guys have it the next day? Were you able to get actual stakeholders there? Yes, we did. They had already had it laid out again. They was ready to do it that particular day. So this is Tuesday morning at uh, almost 10 o'clock. So. They scheduled it for 10, 10 o'clock the next day, which would have been last Wednesday. Now we haven't had our official sprint review. That's going to be tomorrow when I go to work. And here's the deal. It was actually pretty cool for what we've done so far. So this is my first process of going through this. Last week, the thing was done. And as you and I know, that's the purpose of sprint review. The stakeholders was there. They gave us some great feedback in terms of how we can make it better. Great. So now the team has already worked on that better aspect of it. And by tomorrow, when we show it for the second sprint review within the sprint, the customer should be totally happy with it because we've made all the changes from the feedback that they gave us last week. And tomorrow we're going to show it to them again, which is also going to be the end of the sprint. And then we're going to start another sprint. After. Now, what do you think about that? I mean, yes, yeah, another event that they wanted. What would you have done, Andrea, in that case? <laughs> Yeah, sorry, just to make sure I understand how far apart the sprint reviews. One week, one week apart. Oh, okay, gotcha. Apart. Okay, I get what you're saying, yeah. Um, I probably would have also said yes, begrudgingly, because who wants to have two of anything? But I do like your approach of cutting it in half, so it didn't feel like we were doing more hours or just a longer event. And I think, Considering they were done, I do think that's a really great way to pivot and get early feedback. So you could just finish up and speed up the process, especially it was a proof of concept, right? Yes, exactly. Those are the hardest and you want feedback almost immediately. I think kudos to the stakeholders for quickly getting together and being willing to give feedback. So I think mm -hmm. that's also a testament to having a really good organization that's willing to gather pretty quickly and help offer feedback whenever the developers want. So I really like that. I, I think it's very interesting. I think doing some a separate one was actually a pretty good idea. Yeah. And that's one more thing that I hit on too, Andriana. Agile manifesto principle number one. Our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through <laughs> early and continuous delivery of what kind of software? Valuable, baby. <laughs> so, yeah. I can't think about that too now. <laughs> yeah. No, I think following all the right principles and maybe going a little off script, that's totally fine to actually help the team. You're not eliminating feedback mechanisms. You're actually increasing the amount of feedback that you get, which is really important. We've seen so many times where people deliver something that's wrong, something that the customers hate. Uh, and it becomes really problematic because then depending on the type of work that you do, you're spending two, maybe even three years trying to finally satisfy what the customer asked for, you know, years ago. It becomes really outdated really fast. Right, exactly. And we were trying to prevent that in this particular yeah. case. Absolutely. Especially with a POC, if you get like good enough feedback, those end up being some of the best products. There are so many examples of that out in the market right now where this one software started off as a project with friends to use yeah. and all of a sudden it's one of the top selling products or top used software. So, all, all right. A proof of concept. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more from us, you can reach out to us via LinkedIn. It's all in the description. We've also added some of our business websites. So if you want coaching, uh, career course, PMP course, agile courses, you can check those out in the description. Some are live scrum.org classes. Some are self-paced classes that anyone could do at their own pace. And then you can join our email subscriber list. We'll be sending exclusives to you guys soon. And if you made it to the end of this video, that means you have an attention span greater than a goldfish.
be legendary, everyone. So what do y'all think about that? Is that okay? Please leave your feedback in the comments below. I'd love to see what you Two sprint reviews. <laughs> oh, two sprint reviews? What do y'all think? We would like to know your thoughts. Please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.